Hey drummers, welcome to this full video song lesson from drumstheword.com. I'm Rob Litton and today I'm going to be showing you how to play the song Rocking All Over the World by Status Quo, drummed by John Coglan. Coglan. A great song for beginners, great song for groovers. There's a little bit more going on in this song than some might think, so let's dive straight in. I've written at the top of the chart here, note, Tom Toms and a tambourine were overdubbed. So this is my interpretation for a single drummer to play. So first of all, we get the tambourine occurring throughout the song pretty much in the background, but that's not what uh, John is playing. He's playing quarter notes on the hi-hat. And then later when we start to do this floor tom thing, that um, was overdubbed, those toms were overdubbed, because you can still hear the hi-hat being played over the top. So what I've got for you is how you as one drummer could play what you're hearing on the recording best you can. But we talk about options and you know how you can change things around later in the video. So first of all, we start off with the intro, the piano. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very simple, single snare drum on beat four. How many drummers would do that? I would be tempted to play a flam. One, two, three, four and then you come in, especially for a, a big rock song like this. But no, John, just a single snare drum, or maybe just a floor tom and snare drum would have done. One, two, three, four. Just to give that, pow that back beat on four just a bit more power as we come into the song. But no, single snare drum. One, two, three, four, bum. Of course, if you're playing with your band or along, with the, uh, uh, along to the song, then of course you can give that a bit more power, make it a flam or whatever you want to do. So then we got really our main drum beat for the song, ridiculously simple but um, there are some subtleties going on. So it's a simple rock beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare. Quarter notes on the hi-hat. One and two and three and four and not playing the ands in between. You could if you really wanted to. You could play one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But it's not gonna sound the same as a, as a song. John's laying down these quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And throughout the song, he's very subtle with the hi-hat. Sometimes it's looser than other times. It's never fully open, it's never. Most of the time it's this. In fact, it's even less than that, but it's just hard to replicate it on this electric hi-hat. On an acoustic hi-hat, you'll be able to do a lot more subtle movement with your foot. So you'll be able to create a very, very slight sizzle to the hi-hat. If you want to play it, no, um, make it sound like the recording that is. But then later in the song, he does sort of open up a little bit more and then he remembers it's supposed to be kind of half opened. So then he closes it back down again. You notice it on the recording, or I did anyway. So if you want to sort of play around with the looseness of the hi-hat, I recommend that. If you just play the hi-hat close all the way through, like I'll be showing you just for the sake of our ears, then it doesn't sound quite the same. You want to have it sort of a, a little bit of a sizzle to it. As you can hear, it's very hard to replicate that on an electric hi-hat. It's not as accurate as a, as a real hi-hat would be. So we come in with our first uh, snare drum. One, two, three, four. Then into a crash cymbal on beat one for the next line and our first drum beat. <laughs> 